Since the February 1st coup, people have taken to the streets every day to demand the restoration of democracy, defying crackdowns by the security forces in which more than 700 people have been killed. Helpless and terrified people's residences are raided by soldiers and police during night operations in which they arrest people for defending the freedom or sometimes without any reason at all. Arrested civilians are brought back dead to their family the next day, or the family members are told to come and take the dead bodies away after paying a high price, or else funeral ceremonies take place without the deceased. Since the coup, the civil disobedience movement, which most people call the CDM, has gathered support from people from a wide range of professions, led by medical and healthcare workers, and later by Myanmar train workers. Bankers, lawyers, teachers, and engineers across the nation have also demanded the military return the elected government to power and are refusing to return to work. Many civilians are supporting the CDM by donating and fundraising to support CDM participants financially. But striking doctors, teachers, government staff, campaign supporters, and celebrities who promote CDM are also being charged as criminals and detained by the junta. In spite of the arrests, however, the movement has been growing stronger and larger with each passing day. As a citizen of Myanmar, I would like to emphasize that we, the people of Myanmar, support the CDM and believe that it is important to resist the junta in every possible way. The success of this effort to overthrow the evil military junta also depends on the international community's recognition of the will of the people of Myanmar to restore the democracy that was stolen from us. Our legitimately elected representatives have formed the CRPH, a national unity government in exile, in an attempt to defy and discredit the country's ruling military regime, restore civilian rule and establish a federal union. The national unity government has received deep support from every ethnic community and religious groups in Myanmar, who recognize it as the one and only government of Myanmar. Accordingly, I would like to urge members of the international community to recognize our elected government and help us restore our stolen democracy so that peace and stability may flourish in Myanmar once again. Thank you.